Welcome to CyberNation, your go-to source for ethical hacking and cybersecurity tutorials. If you're passionate about learning penetration testing, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth content. Let's dive into today's practical tutorial on Nmap and Metasploit to this practical guide on using Nmap and Metasploit for ethical hacking. In this tutorial, we will use Kali Linux as our attacking machine and Metasploitable as the target machine. We will scan for vulnerabilities using Nmap and exploit a Samba service using Metasploit. Metasploitable is a deliberately vulnerable Linux-based operating system used for security training and testing. First, let's find its IP address by running the following command in Metasploitable, if config. Take note of the IP address as we will use it in our scans. On Kali Linux, run the following nmap command to scan for open ports and services. nmap-sv Metasploitable IP enables service version detection, helping us identify running services and potential vulnerabilities. This scan will take a few minutes. Once completed, it will display open ports and running services. From the scan results, we find that port 445 slash TCP is open, running NetBIOS SSN Samba SMBD. This is a common target for exploits. Open Metasploit by running MSF console. Search for an SMB version detector scanner. Search SMB version, use the appropriate module. Use auxiliary slash scanner slash SMB slash SMB version. Set the target host and port. Set Roast's Metasploitable IP. Set R port 445. Run. This will display the Samba version. Copy the version number for the next step. Now let's check if an exploit's available for this version using Searchploit. Searchploit Samba version. If an exploit's available, we can use it in Metasploit. Open Metasploit and search for the SMB exploit. Search exploit for SMB.
Select the appropriate exploit module. and set the required parameters. Set roasts, metasploitable, mark IP. Set R port 445. Metasploit automatically sets the listening port. Run the exploit. If successful, we will have a session created. Once access is gained, check privileges by typing WUMI. If it returns root, we have full control over Metasploitable. Verify the target machine's IP, if config. Now let's navigate to the desktop directory on Metasploitable. There are no directories yet. Now let's navigate to the desktop directory on Metasploitable. Now let's create one from our Kali Linux session. Go back to Metasploitable and check. We see that the directory CyberNation has been successfully created. In this tutorial, we identified the Metasploitable IP, scanned for vulnerabilities using Nmap, found an open SMB service, used Metasploit to detect its version, found an exploit and gained root access, verified our access by creating a directory remotely. This demonstrates how Nmap and Metasploit can be combined for effective ethical hacking and penetration testing. That's it for this tutorial. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to CyberNation for more ethical hacking and cybersecurity content. Stay ethical, keep learning, and see you in the next video. Stay ethical and keep learning.